AT&T is disclosing yet another major data breach. The company says a third party illegally downloaded call and text records for nearly all of its 109 million customers that had an account between May and October of 2022. AT&T reported a similar data breach in March, affecting more than 70 million current and former customers. In a statement, the company says, quote, we are working with law enforcement in its efforts to arrest those involved in the incident. It goes on to say, we sincerely regret this incident occurred and remain committed to protecting the information in our care. CBS News senior business and technology correspondent Jolene Kent is following this story for us. So Jolene, what do we know about the extent of this breach? It seems massive. Uh, and then really, what can customers do to protect themselves? Yeah, this is one of the biggest breaches in corporate history, and it affects, as you mentioned, nearly every single AT&T customer out there. The good news is the silver lining here is that the content of the texts and calls that were breached were not necessarily accessed, and the personal information of the users were also not accessed. But the issue, of course, is that it's pretty easy, as AT&T acknowledges in the SEC filing, to reverse engineer and find out who some of these phone numbers belong to and track some of the patterns when it makes when it comes to making it easier for scammers to take advantage of their customers. Uh, we talked to Chris Krebs. He was the former head of cybersecurity mm -hmm. at the Department of Homeland Security today, and he specifically told me that this is something that is great for scammers because they're able to kind of figure out how to trace your patterns in life in order to take advantage and possibly impersonate. We've seen a lot of AI scams out there, especially in the use of voices that may sound like people that you know calling from numbers that look like familiar phone numbers. So things like this are extremely, extremely useful to hackers. We also know one person has been apprehended in the case so far, according to AT&T. Jolene, this is seriously concerning. Um, I want to make sure that we don't neglect that, the question about how customers can safeguard themselves, and especially as as AT&T has had numerous problems this year. Yeah, well, telecoms are, according to the experts, very good targets because they have a lot of information and they continue, they have a lot of customers, right? And so targeting a big company like AT&T makes a lot of sense if you're trying to be a cyber criminal. AT&T, of course, having lots of challenges this year. They disclosed a hack earlier this spring that we reported on regarding personal information of users. They've had some pretty major outages when it comes to cell phone users. So AT&T having a tough time on this front. But Chris Krebs, who we talked to earlier in preparation for our CBS Evening News piece that will air tonight is saying you should assume that you have been hacked in some way in one of these large-scale data breaches. So some of the things you can do, I know we've said it before, but it bears repeating that you always want to have that multi-factor authentication turned on. You want to be changing your passwords for any reason. If you ever doubt that you're getting a phone call from someone, you're not a thousand percent sure it is actually the company that the voice says it is. What you want to do is politely hang up the phone, go into either search the phone number or go into the official app that you may have on your phone and reach out independently to make sure that the bank that appears to be calling you really is indeed, say, the bank or the credit card company or the insurance company or what have you. So these are simple steps that, you know, we talk about a lot, but they certainly can help you in this world where basically almost every person's personal information, unfortunately, lives on the dark web, has been sold, has been breached, has been hacked. All right. Jolene Kent, thank you for those reminders about how we can stay safe. Anytime.